what's up guys i know i haven't made a video in a very long time i'm really sorry i had exams going on and um so now now i'm back to make more videos on more topics and hopefully we can get some more work done now so uh this video i'm going to be explaining something called nested loops now uh what a nested loop is a nested loop is a loop inside a loop it's pretty much that it's a loop inside a loop so um basically what happens in a nested loop is you have one loop and you put it inside another loop now what's happening there is um one change is leading to a series of changes i don't know if you guys have um watched the movie the butterfly effect uh, it has ashton kutcher in it it says that if a butterfly flaps its wings in texas it can cause an earthquake in pakistan it's it's like that anyway that that's not important right now i am just trying to emphasize my point one change can lead to a series of changes so what kind of uh, loops can you put inside of a nested loops well you can have a for loop inside another for loop or you can have for loop inside a while loop or you can have a while loop inside a while loop or a while loop inside a for loop there's many possibilities so let's get into that now let's say i told you i want you to give me the table of 1 into 1 1 into 2 1 into 3 2 into 1 2 into 2 2 into 3 like that let's say this went up till 4 into 3 so you can see one pattern dominating here this goes up till 3 oops i'm sorry this goes up till 3 and this is going from 1 up till 4 so essentially what is being <coughs> i'm sorry excuse me i am not not well um what is being repeated here um the f in the f in the inner th this part you can see that 1 2 and 3 is being repeated and out here it's progressing so let's say we have 4 and i equals 1 and it's going till 4 so i less than equal to 4 i plus plus Now let's say we have four int j equals one, and i and j are just names. J less than equal to three. J plus plus. Isn't this essentially what we're doing? It's going from one to three, and this is going from one to three four. So let's say here we have int. prod for product is equal to i into j so and <coughs> you know and mind you i'm still in this j loop out here because this is open s o p l n prod and here the j loop closes and the i loop closes now let, let's try running through this program when i is 1 it comes here j is 1 1 into 1 that's 1 so it will print 1 now it's still in this loop okay this i loop will not be increased or rather it will won't go it uh, into its next iteration or iteration till the whole j loop is run what that means is j is 1 now comes down prints 1 goes back up i is still 1 j becomes 
वन इन टू टू दैट बिकम्स टू कम्स योर प्रिंस टू दिस वन आउट योर गेट्स इरेज एज यू नो कम्स बैक योर जे बिकम्स थ्री वन इन टू थ्री दैट्स थ्री प्रिंस थ्री एंड दिस टू आउट योर गेट्स इरेज I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I, I'm not really very good. I have coughs and yeah. Anyway, so now J is gone up till three. Now it comes out of this and goes back up here into this and increases. I I becomes two. Comes back into the J loop. Now let me do this in another color. J goes from one to three again. I is two. So. Two into one, it'll come here. It'll print two. Comes back here. J becomes two. Then it becomes two into two four. So it becomes come here. Print four. Again, J becomes three. Two into three, six. And it comes here. Print six. And these values keep getting erased. So that's nested loops. That is basically nested loops. People have a lot of misconceptions. I'm sorry. A lot of confusion regarding this topic, and I think you guys should just relax, practice a few problems on this. It's really simple. Play around with it. If I told you, if I gave you this piece of code, while I less than equal to five for. Int x is equal to one. X less less than equal to three. X plus plus. And here I said, let's say S O P L N X. And here I said I plus plus. And this is outside the for loop, mind you. <coughs> for loop is only from here. Till here, there's one line. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. So let's assume that I is initially defined as one. So it comes here. X goes from one to three. It prints one, two, three. I becomes two. Comes here. Again, prints one, two, three. So essentially, if I asked you to calculate how many times would the value of X be printed? it would be any guesses you can pause the video and try think about it calculate but um x would be printed 5 into 3 times because this this loop would be executed 3 times for every one execution of this loop of the while loop so coming back to an important point i had made series of changes it comes from one change so one change in i is so rather in the while loop will lead to a series of changes in the for loop so the for loop goes thrice for every one Uh, iteration or running of the i loop so that's basically it for nested loops i will get into some videos on pattern making which is quite interesting and very annoying trust me i'll get into some videos on that in the next video i don't know um, so i guess that's it for nested loops have a good day guys see you